Ooh, look, we're a little earlier than expected. What can I say? We had a good stream earlier today. We raised over a thousand dollars for the ASPCA to make animals safer. I'm not entirely sure how they do it, but you know what? I don't care how they do it as long as they do it. Good old ASPCA. Good evening, uh, OCDE and Garg and Tyler Zeta. And Big T. I set up a poll. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. I got one. probably get a biased answer on this one but what you gotta do i'm prepared for, i'm prepared for unforeseen consequences jaggy uh, my day's going good i'm a little tired we did like a three hour and 40 minute stream over on trey's place for raising money for animals we went double past the goal i i didn't really do that much i just kind of I just kind of sat there and, you know, add a little spice to things, but it was a good time. And it was a uh, very good cause. Now we're going to do the uh, the cause for Hellbent, where he sits and plays a video game and unwinds. Admittedly, I'm a little tired. King of the Van, I do not know about Halloween Horror Nights. OCD Half Life Source is pretty cursed. Oh, yeah, Jack, you hope you're having a good day, too, by the way. Let's fire it up. I mean, we got a long train ride anyways. Hell yeah, the guy's having a smoke break. For the security and convenience Good for him. The research facility personnel. The time is 8.40. He's locked out. A.M. Yeah, help him over. He's locked out. You can probably hear him from there. Nah, yeah, he's just going to your office. Three degrees. With an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. I like that. 68 degrees is just right. Oh, Jackie, I'm going to sleep like a... I'm going to sleep like a rock tonight. It's going to be great. But I still got... I still got some energy left. Keith, this is the remake. I think. I mean, this looks like it was made in 1995. Don't you agree? This train it's is like Quake One, I think. Uh, you know, just about the same. From level three dormitory. Like a PS2 game, you know what I'm saying? Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in. Yeah, King of the Fat, this does look like it was made in 2007. It really, it truly does. This looks like an Xbox 360 game, right? Yeah, I agree. You must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. I remember my Xbox 360 games like Quake 4 and uh, others looking just like this. <laughs> we don't get off here though we go down due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the black mesa compound, hey joy boy hey golden ticket eating 
or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. I mean, fair enough. This place is already filthy garbage. Is somebody smoking here? Now they're just drawing little post-it notes and tearing up paper. You know, as long as this tram is, I bet it would get boring after, you know, maybe some of the longer tracks. Cool train system, though. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. And five to KO. We'll event, see you, CDE. Passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit, it sure does be walking your urinal. It sure does. First. Please stay away from hey, look, they got in that patchy attack helicopter. You know, for science and stuff. And a flashing cactus. Half-Life 2 remake? I don't know how, how much there would be to remake, Keith. Like, I guess you could upgrade the geometry and, like, the player models, but that's about it. I don't think there's much gameplay you need to change. I'm joking, by the way. The 360 wishes it could do stuff like this. It would, <laughs> it would crumple. It would just, it would just completely just destroy itself under all this. I just like when people look at a game like this and go like, oh, it looks like PS2. It's like, yeah. Someone didn't play much PS2, you know what I mean? Remake would ruin just, uh, would ruin Half-Life 2 speedrunning? Yeah, probably. A reminder that the Black Mesa hazard course decathlon... Mullen says I should make Brian play Portal 2 with me. He says he doesn't want to play Portal 2 because there's not enough jokes in it. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Aww, I want one of these for my bedroom. I could fall asleep to that, you know. Sure, I'd wake up with a hideous sunburn, but I mean, it'd be worth it for the rest. Look at this PS1 looking game. Do you have a Clarence, Clarence not showing up for Uh oh, I'm stuck. Addition to the Black Mesa team. Oh no, we're good. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling got your media and opening right here okay. Bye. Hey. Oh, oh. please contact black mesa personnel for further information see if media you opening associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics biotechnology or other high well theoretically i got a degree in theoretical physics recruiting team so i guess i qualify is an equal opportunity employer Wasted opportunity that you never get to pilot one of these things, by the way. Like they they had this giant cool robot. I gotta make it look more like an ant in this though. Rain World, hey Talka. Actually I did play Rain World. Didn't beat it, but when it came out, there uh, nice stuff over Adult Swim to give me a game key, and it was really cool. And the developers were nice folks. I'm glad to hear people are still talking about Rain World. Rain World is really good, very hard. Speaking of hard games, Goddess Breeze says blasphemy. That's one I like to play as well. Ant robots, I love them. Now we're gonna go past the Mountain Dew factory. Your future depends on it. As you can see, the dew's being done. All you guys are just taking on the fumes. Oh, they're dead. Oh, I ain't gonna make it. Here comes the robot. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. 
Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. And My name is Jesus Christ. I want to go in the facility. Today. I'm here to bring about the new time. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Thank you, Barney. I'm out of here. Let me in. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. And you're not Barney, huh? But Barney adjacent. We got quick saves. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Selling out, baby. That's the that's my middle name, Gordon Sod Freeman. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also Get away from there, Freeman. Down I'm expecting an important day, message. I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. Gordon, don't Please touch that. Seven, Go use another nine. computer. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Hey, it's happening! Cut it out! My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Give me the trouble? Bertal. Bertal, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Not copy. Damn, Gordon. Still a rebel. Good morning, Dr. Fleek. Screw you, I got important business over at the cafeteria. Morning, champ. Hello. Die! Die! <laughs> Yeah! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you'd best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. Make like an atom and split. Alright, let's just move it. <laughs> Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Ugh, rat. No toilet paper. Someone locked all the stalls and removed the mirrors. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Oh, that was a paper towel. Yeah, you know, this guy's too picky. Just a minute. Occupied. Why? Music archive got sold a bunch of fake edibles. Welcome to the H E C Mark Four Protective. Mark what? How dare you mock me? Engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. 
Let me in. I bet I still run a million miles per hour. Ow. Overshot it. That last fluctuation. There's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photon. What's up, Doc? Are you certain it's irreducibly? I'll look into that. It sounds like they think that things ain't gonna go well. Can't imagine why. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doc. Whoa, we Kleiner, you look like you're made out of boot leather. Chamber. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. I broke my ankle. Let's go to the chest chamber. I want to play chess. Eli has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just. Oh, it's about to go critical. I was here first. What in the blazes is going on with I have fun with that. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. Bye. There's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. By Beckrell's ghost. You know, the radiation Sorry. level is off the charts. Vision for an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal. Yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please. Oh, too bad. Boo boo hoo, I get salary. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, yes we, we will. Reason, this is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we what are we cooking? standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I always do standard do insertion. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. Ooh. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. I'm going to end the world. So I woke up today and heard voices in my head telling me cause a cascade. You know what that means? Testing. Testing. Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
Cascade is a dishwasher and turn your sugar bits. It's also delicious. Yum yum, Cascade. Stage two emitters activating now. Um, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. But please work as much as you can. Looks like something out of Spencer's gifts. Oh, it's loud. Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. No, it's not. It's well, it's well outside of acceptable just volume. just informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. And you go. Yay! One day I'm gonna do this in real life. Has gotta go get me like a lava lamp and one of those like plasma ball things and like a, a wedding ring or whatever. We can do this at home in the garage. That was a quick game. Oh, it's still going. All right, hold on. A cat! A kitty. I love the stock sound effects in Half-Life Shigavitz. I tried to pet the kitty gargoyle, would not let me. No, not Black Mesa. Oh, there's nothing sacred. Oh, no. All right, Beep Boop, show on the road. I'll take that med pack. He does not need it. It's probably really hard to give somebody CPR through a bulletproof vest, but what do I know? Ow! Oh, how could this happen? What has science done? Science, no! Science, no! Ah, ha, ha, ha! Oh, oh, Newton, you betrayed us! Listen, I, I tried to warn you. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. It's My their fault. Cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones. Somebody wrote poob. I can't reach anyone in the facility. I guess it's like a, a boo you made out of poob. Why would they write that, Why write that there? Why would you write that there? There's no telling what kind of danger it is. Uh. It's a cat. Let it loose. Open the door. Go. No, I wouldn't listen. What did you want? Gonna go on into the lab. Just me and my suit. Here we go. No, wait. See, he, he's impatient. If he just waited over here, he'd be fine. Oh, that's how it goes when you don't show a little bit of patience. Attention. 
You okay there? Why do we pipe lasers through the computer room? I think I can turn the volume back up now. See, the resonance cascade's really loud because it's supposed to be. A wrench and a screwdriver, hard pass. Anyways, gotta use the elevator. <laughs> you know, chanting, you don't want to die. Well, they figured it out. Ah, oh, cool, they dropped a battery. Yummy. They call corpses a biohazard warning. That's a, that's the actual thing. Gordon? No. Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Here, let me get out of your way. Don't let them get near you. Oh, you like that? Huh? Kill him. I want his gun. Kill him. Well, you get points for trying. I found another one. Kill it. is in bad shape. I'm gonna burn him to death with my cigar. Wanna smoke? Hey pal, wanna wanna smoke oh fuck, you got a light? You want to smoke? It's <laughs> all different. I don't understand. Helmet, miss your windows, vols, windows, vol screen. You want to see that again? Yeah, see, I hit a little scroll bar here. And that pops up. And that lets me know what volume we're at. It's pretty handy. Honestly, it's one of those things that should have always been there in windows. My cigar, lighting them on fire. No. Like that. 
I thought you died. Sorry, Doc. The worst, the worst thing that they did, they changed this one from Coomer to Chinner. Uh, people don't even say Coomer anymore. They're gonna wonder. It's like, and then they're gonna look back and go, why'd you change it from Coomer to Chinner? It's like, well, it was a euphemism for a person who jerks off all the time. Yeah, you know, like people who sit at their computers and play video games all day. <laughs> I guess they felt personally attacked. I have half of mine to light them on fire myself. Oh, that was awkward. Here comes more of those things. Bring it on. Music Archive is a new member. Thank you for sponsoring the channel, Music Archive. I appreciate you very much. Hope you're having a good evening. I like. Oh! Oops. Sorry. You son of a bitch. Yeah. Now finish him, Officer Friendly. That's jaywalking in a public access way. Judge you to the death penalty. Ow. Hey. Hey. <laughs> He knocked that off. I think I just got a promotion. Nah, <laughs> management's dead. Nobody's getting promoted. Everyone's dead. You, you don't get promotions when everyone's dead. Somebody there who can fix this. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. This whole thing's gonna fall down on a minute. A code red emergency Ow! Situation here. Possible Fire bad. Hey, Mickey R. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there? No, I George Shadow. I'm playing Half-Life on the PS2 right now. They this enhanced the graphics a little bit. Come on, you bastard. Pick up. Is anybody reading me? Come in, anybody. Let's so take a seat now, me and my suit. Somebody. Anybody. Man, just hand me your gun. I need it more than you do. You know is this. Out there? You just gotta do this forever, God ain't you? Yeah. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C. Fine. We Be that way. have that gun in his hand it wouldn't have weighed him down so much he could have saved himself anyways i got a vent to explore you play around here and die i'll probably this see you later It's like throwing flares at him. Hey, don't do that. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. I can't do that. I get it. Zoom. You, you stay back. 
Yeah! Oh, Ham is the best of us. I'll oh, for you. He hates it. Put my cigar out right in your face. Take that while I'm at it. I want this as a Duke Nukem weapon now. He should have a cigar he can light up and he can just light you on fire with it. I don't know why it's so satisfying. Maybe it's because I used to smoke for so long. I don't know. Puzzle complete. Half-Life only released a computer, P Xbox, PS1, PS2. There's gonna be a Dreamcast port. The, dr the Dreamcast fucking died. So that kinda didn't work out. You can still play it. There's like, the code is out there. And you can like boot it up. And it's impressive for what it is. But yeah, the Dreamcast wasn't gonna make its money back on that game. What do you gotta do? I think that box might explode. always jump on elevators huge lawsuit victory if it falls like this he's so fast you figured they, if they're toning things down to make it more realistic, they wouldn't make it run like a cheetah, but you know what? I don't mind. It makes the game fun to play. Glad they didn't take out the fun parts. Tap, tap, tap. Tap.
It's an aggressive breed. Yeah, I don't know if getting a bunch of money out here would be a good idea. I mean, what are you gonna do? Like, use it to cook food with a fire and like light the money in a big bonfire and put a little, like, I don't know, hubcap over it? I mean, you could. Hey. What am I doing? That doesn't matter. Ah! We need to put some glue traps out. Glue traps would stop these things in their tracks, by the way. When Half-Life 1 came out, I was like, how would you defend against head crabs? And it just struck me. I mean, just, you know, glue traps the size of this tile, right? The second one of these hits one of those, they ain't gonna be able to do anything. I guess you could have some more humane traps too, like little cages. I don't think they're gonna fall for that. Hey, I was looking in this room, bad cat. Gordon Freeman reminds me of a wolf spider. He just runs forward and just attacks anything that he sees. Like if it's right in front of him, he just goes for it and just starts swinging. Oh, thank God. Wait a minute. This is an updated version of the game. Did I just game over myself? Why'd I kill him? Because I'm allowed to. Nah, we're good. Let me go through here. It was no use to Gordon Freeman. I killed him because I'm a free man. Hey. I'm the only stone cold killer around here, and you better remember it. Yeah! The circle of life, motherfuckers. Well, anyways, where was I? Oh, you think you're real funny, huh? I got my PhD too. Yeah, I'm the only one who went to MIT. It's not that special.
You kitty, kitty. Oh, it's not a cat. You know, with these boxes here, it feels like I'm leaving behind, like, a lot more bullets, but you know we don't need them. We got the crowbar. Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? Dude says the creators of this game stole the ceiling textures from Dead Space. I heard they copied this game called Half Life 2. But, you know, honestly, he's just inconsiderate. a puzzle isn't it hey, I need that you son of a bitch else can use this ladder i'm blocking it off i ain't block oh whatever it's not like i pay rent here they pay me to live here Pouring out of whatever, I'm still gonna whack you with the crowbar. so fun to hit things with a crowbar in this game.
Bullets and more. And from this game came Counter-Strike, and then, uh, well, Team Fortress was actually Quake 1, but... We don't count that one for reasons. Probably just for simplicity's sake, if anything. Brandon says, run elevator to hell, destination down. Damn right. Ah! Jumped on his head for a change. You think they like whacked the deflated base? Yeah, they had to. They had like deflate a basketball and hit it with a baseball bat. I figured that's how you get that noise. Either that or you just actually pumble somebody, right? There's no treats up here. wanted to be a forklift operator they never let him though it's a shame because it doesn't seem like these guys are that much better of a job you get your forklift certificate your certification and certificate and the world's your oyster good times for forklift drivers all right i'm satisfied that i whooped this room's ass let's move on to the next one Oh, my, I'm at max pistol ammo, aren't I? Hell yeah. When I got my high keys set up. Give me a second here. Pardon my dust. Now I want to go down lower. Yeah, there we go. It's actually a bad binding, but whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> oh. Well, they're on my grenade.
That's okay, we didn't need it. We got the crowbar. <laughs> Perfect swing. He camps my breadsticks. Where's my f funny little ladder? I need to get out of here. Oh. Hey, Spirit Taker. Hey, Golden Ticket. What difficulty am I on? I think it's normal. Now that you mentioned, I didn't change that. Usually I put it on hard. That's easy. Yeah, okay, well. Nothing lost for doing that. Now, I'll say this. Half-Life on the max difficulty sucks because of all the hit scan enemies. And I don't know if they fixed that here or not. But yeah, I thought this was feeling a little easy. Golden Ticket, thank you for letting me know about that. mind them taking the weapons away so much because i'm so used to doom for at the end of every episode they just take away your you know equip anyways i'm like ah, that's fine just give me a workhorse weapon within the first like 15 minutes of an episode and i'm good could bring in brian on decay I don't know how much Brian would enjoy Half-Life Decay. Ten points. No crate goes unsmashed. What is a quick save button, by the way? <laughs> let's, let's let's figure that out too. Okay. There we go. 
I don't think I'm gonna fall from here, but that is instant death. So let's be a little bit, you know, cognizant of what we're doing. Do you think the secret goodies over there? I think so. Nope. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I get it. No fancy secrets. Just pain. After you play Half-Life so many times, it's pretty easy. The real difficulty comes in dealing with the soldiers and some of the more... Well, the enemies that just kind of instantly shoot you when they see you, you know what I mean? That gets to be a bit much. Bad cat! Like, for instance, we have nothing to fear about things teleporting in right now. We can just run up to him and clobber him with the crowbar. Pretty much a freebie. This is machine gun turret room. What is this? Oh. Here. <laughs> Get out of here. Stop it. We don't hit every crate with the crowbar, though. That would be irresponsible. My middle name is responsible. I should have put a treat up here like a magazine something Oh, I give up on that crate. It's invincible. End of the elevator. That's right, hell responsible, Bent. That's my full name. Oh, Spirit Taker, you should at least play Blue Shift. Opposing forces is okay. Blue Shift is genuinely good. Later, dude. Nature's beautiful. Shut up!
out of here. I'm coming. Have a sunny kiss or whatever. I should be able to feed it like some Doritos and watch it just die from trying to eat our preservatives. Oh, Gordon. If I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Oh! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I solve my own problems. I'm a murderer. Bad kitty. evacuation zone stay where you are if you are within the evacuation area and have no transportation locate your nearest police department hey benny cage yeah the emergency service is worthless around here at least you can smoke indoors in blank mesa though this bring your pet to work day stuff's getting out of hand Guy has a whole ass office to himself and he didn't even bother stocking any toys in here. Shame. Honestly, I'm just running around like a crazy person. I don't know what I'm doing. Level design's a little different here. I like it. Up we go. This is probably proper. Progress. Need to make some progress over here. Power 75%. Hey, mustache. Hey, good to see ya. <laughs> oh, no. I'm over here too, little monster friends. Oh, they're just little babies, though. Oh, I don't know any better. They're just like feral kittens. 
Machine gun doesn't differentiate between kitten and person, though. It just goes after. Oh, it says no smoking. Oh, shit. I was going to get fired anyways. What do I care? Hip. Why would I ever come back here? Maybe I have to, I don't know. Screams up ahead. Yeah, you probably heard a few screams. You're gonna hear some more screams in hell. What am I doing? <laughs> Good job, monster. I don't play. Let me in. Oh, I can't get into this vent because it's full of blood or whatever. Even with a hundred percent power level. Tap everything with the crowbar. Tap, tap, tap. Come on, having a bad day in here. Not just as I played Half Life before. Am I stuck? Yeah, you got me. Ah! I played Half Life 1 a lot, but uh, Half Life Black Mace has thrown me off a little bit, I must say. Where do I go? What am I doing? Oh, 
Oh. Power, We're gonna be going up there. Got it. Oh, it's on Steam, British computer guy. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I've been hearing about this one for a while, British computer guy. It's a Half-Life 2 mod, and it's sold on Steam, and it's not made by Valve. And it's pretty cool that Valve let a uh, fan-made project only be created to begin with but also sold for money so they got paid for their work isn't that nice i guess valve gets your 30 percent or whatever and never ever use the elevator it's like sweet tooth did use the stairs Oh, Nintendo would have shut this shit down. <laughs> Nintendo would have super shut this down. some invisible walls to other game okay, there we go it's like still a turret box there for some reason Can't get the delicious pop, no. Mmm. Oh, delicious green shit from the AGV thing. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, that's progress. Let's go this way. You die. Mag dump on you. Half-Life 1 with ray tracing mod that I want to try. There's a uh, like Half-Life revisited. So this is like a uh, remaster. What, what you got like a remaster and a reboot. This is more of a reboot than a remaster compared to the other Half-Life remaster, which makes me question the whole terminology to begin with. But hey, here we are.
That vent went in a different possible direction. I'll not be fooled so easily. How long is the campaign approximately? I think it's about the same length, British computer guy. But uh, they cut on a rail. I think on a rail got cut or severely truncated. So maybe a little shorter. Hard to say. What's over here though? Let's find out. Well, they certainly aren't skimpy on the ammo though, are they? Power 55%. Power Hell yeah. 70%. This frequently goes on sale, uh, British computer guys. So if you wait till the fall or, uh, did the summer sale already happen? I think it would have, right? Maybe I'm wrong. But if you wait for a summer sale, fall sale, or whatever, you, you can get this pretty discounted. So if you're looking to, if this, you know, piques your fancy, I would, uh, you know, wait till it's on sale because it will invariably go on sale for a very cheap price. I oh, mean, I wish I had that one grenade that threw away. Oh, well, you get the shotgun then. I missed the screen. <laughs> I feel bad. I should have hit the screen. Where's my crowbar? There you go. Now I feel better. Oh, I was swinging for the window, but I knocked him out of the out of midair. That was awesome. It's not Skittles, it's Oodles. Hey! Bad. And Ramblers. Naked fries and uppercuts. I do want some uppercuts. That's not, that's a good, they should just go ahead and keep that and sell those. Got hamburger, taco burrito, hamburger, and ice cold. I can go for an ice cold right now. I guess we're getting lunch ready in there. Give me health. Root of grape is really good. You want it. Good thing I brought eight dollars and quarters with me to work.
I can't believe that monster just ran by me. They usually go right after you. It's weird. Hunt down the Freeman. And people really got suckered in that one, didn't they? Your first hint that something may not end up being all that great. It is exclusively voiced by YouTube people. Or gamers. Like, we got nothing but gamers for actors. It's a bad thing, even if it's me. You know, probably especially if it's me, not to think about it. I'll go up there. Okay, well. We'll play around over here. We got... That wasn't a monster. Oh, man. I swear that was a beast of burden. Yeah, Sleepy Dog Zone. <laughs> On YouTube, we work from pennies to peanuts but it's still better than twitch they take half the peanut how fair is that they're gonna charge people to make reddits essentially it makes old twitter being ran by a megalomaniacal millionaire thing seem like it's not so bad I guess it went in a circle then. I need the valve handle. I keep forgetting to do that. We're on lookout for a valve handle. It's a valve puzzle. See. Come to me. 
Yes. No. Yeah, Half Life always been good, Morgan. Half Life is good. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I think the best Half Life game is? Oh. I, I gotta go the classic. I like Half Life 1. What can I say? When it came out, it's revolutionary, and today it still holds up. How many games can say that? It'll do right. It'll do. Yeah, it's just barely good enough. Hooray. We're here marginally all right. Hey, thank you, Ben. Ben Kagi. Hey, bad critter. He's mine. <laughs> all right. Uh, huh. Maybe help would have been all right here. Oh, well. This is ah, ah. to work, huh? I don't like that they made this jump shorter. I missed when it was like oppressively long. What are you going to do? In my version of the game, Gordon Freeman had other plans before coming to work, and this is all just one big coincidence. One big happy coincidence for old G. Freeman. What 
What if we don't do that, though? Yeah, see, we don't do that. That would have been a bad idea. Almost screwed myself over. That being said, I don't want anybody to follow me, right? Ah. Oh. The elevators are pointing over a turn. I want to see what's over here. I guess a shortcut. Maybe this is for co-op. Like in case your friend can't handle ladders, you get this form or something. Anyways, we've done a pretty good job protecting this facility from the evil scientist who took it over. Yeah, we're on a team today. Can you open the door? Like somewhere in the control panel over there, I think. Later, Benny. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. It's another intern. Worthless. Let's up to some soda pop. This is invasive. Now I want a soda pop. Hold on, I'll be right back. I crave it. If he gets one, I should be able to get one. And where were we? Both barrels with the right click, more or right click, Morgan. Choose up ammo, but does the job. All right. Oops.
The thing says explosive, but it don't explosive. Mercy. There's, oh, there's something up here. Ah, I want it. Yum. Where are you running? What'd you call me? What'd you fucking call me? Their weakness is beating the shit out of them. They hate it. I'm doing well better, Damien Wolf. That's been gone for about half a week now. I'm doing a-okay. You bastards! afraid of these things. Get out of here, please.
Yeah, they make a good point, honestly. Watch out! Goodbye. Over there. Where do my friends go? Good God. Is it safe? Yeah. Good Lord, man. Do you know what you've just done? Oh. Yeah. Don't bully in the workplace. That's what <laughs> that's what I say. They call me Gordon Free Free Butt. Because of my mother's OnlyFans. Throw his body into there? No. Okay, hey, this jerry can of work. Whoop. Damn it. A body party I can use? No. Huh. Ah. Caution, exploding floor may be wet. Nope. Okay, we'll just crouch under it. Hey, Lord Mancho. Manucho. Manucho. Ah, Manucho. There we go. Giga Diaz, howdy. Maximus, howdy. Oofmaster. Nice throw, sissy. Maximus Rex, Rex says, they call me Gordon Freebeer because I'm an alcoholic. They're playing his drunken Gordon Freeman. He thinks that the scientists are behind it all. He convinced himself of that within like two minutes. He's like, hey, them doctors. They always made fun of me. This is because I like to party a little bit on the weekend, man. I deserve to be beat, treated better than that. Damn, already at this point? I need to rebound my keys already. I thought this... Okay, give me a second. No bindings. Weapons. There we are. Uh... No. Yeah, okay, let's just let's just do this the simple way, the way that I remember most. Yep. Rebind.
Well, that'll do for now. I'll figure the rest out as we go along. Yeah, I get used to that. How would the portal gun work in the Half-Life universe? I kinda, I hate to say it, but I think it might make the combat a little boring, right? Cause I'd like vomp a portal up there and I'd vomp a portal over there and then I'd just shoot a guy and then I'd turn it off. The AI wouldn't really have too much of a response to that other than to make them like inhumanly fast, right? So they'd have to do something like cut your ammo off or something and it might just not make for a fun game, but maybe some skilled level designer can make it work. I'm doing good, Garg, hope you're doing good too. Yeah, show him who's boss. Good job. They're right to shoot at me. Because I blame the scientists and the government both. Oh. He's in here. Here I come. Bam. Oh, shit. Why? I can't move. I can't move. I'm stuck on the grenade. Now I'm upset. Stuck on the hand grenade. What's it gonna do? Later, Kai. You're doing good, Garg. I'm glad to hear, it, man. I like that murdering every scientist doesn't really affect anything. Or at least they give you the option to just start shooting at him. Because why wouldn't Gordon? He got set up. If I got set up by a bunch of dorks to blow up a resident cascade or whatever i'd probably mag dump on a couple of them too be like you're the one who did the computer bad pow pow you know that's life sometimes you eat the bar sometimes the bar eats you killed something I wonder what the secondary objective was much less what the primary one is
Report to the motherfucking Central Command Tourette's team. Damn it. Fuck. Urinal Shooter, this is pretty good. I like it. It's smooth. It keeps a lot of the same level design uh, that the original Half Life had, which is nice. Because it's solid. It's a game you can play quickly or methodically. It, you know, supports both play styles. As to opposed to, uh, as opposed to a lot of games that don't support, you know, they support one or the other, right? I mean, sure, you can speedrun any game, but I'm, you know, talking more in the terms of like a natural, you know, player playing. smooth me and my HEV suit it's just me and my HEV uh oh yeah yeah that's uh, that's the MIT education in action right there just that smart man Yeah, kill him. You guys missed one. You're getting sloppy. What was your plan? What was your plan? Ah, ow. Hey, hey, stop. for all free bird saved yeah they do throw grenades at their own feet morgan you're not wrong this is a bit of an upgrade all things considered Stop the free man. What the fuck? Oh, it's a is that a petri dish or a book? I don't get this. Can someone explain this to me? Wear your goggles or get new eyes. Goggles. They don't do nothing. They protect your eyes from grievous harm. Wear yours. Last year in 1997, 333 accidents hurt eyeballs or something. I can't quite read this. I think I need glasses. Maybe I should wear goggles because I protect your peepers. I got that part. Polo avoid sulfating yourself ex raspberries please wear your goggles are they like selling me new eyes 
Or is this like a book of eyes? It looks like a book to me. I think it's a book of eyeballs. Do they like collect them and make a... Oh, this place sucks. This was all bound to happen eventually here. This is unavoidable. I bet there's a lot of cool stuff down here. Beans, beans, beans. There's a shortcut to heaven right there. Military no, I guess I got all the bonus treats. Okay, let's get out of here. I got enough. Oh! Pretty much did the exact same amount of damage. Me through. There's like a medi kid down here, right? Yeah, the blue beams are bad. You don't want to touch those. That was covered in the training seminar, though. Everyone knows that. Imagine how many people working here called him Gordo. I can see that happening. Travesty. People are just intolerable, aren't they? I get extreme force. played the system shock remake d crash i was thinking about playing that tonight but i figured a little bit of variety wouldn't hurt either 
Yeah, system shock remakes pretty good. That's probably all of them. That's why I didn't crank the difficulty higher. The the soldiers on the highest difficulty are really annoying to deal with. You you pretty much cover shoot them. And it just takes forever. Wanna see me fight them on the hardest difficulty? Check out uh the original Half-Life 2 playthrough I did. Don't get me wrong, it's fun, but I just wasn't in the mood for it tonight. We're playing on Black Mesa difficulty, which seems to me to be the proper and preferred difficulty. Oh yeah, we've already been down there, so you wouldn't want to go back. Okay, there we go. All right, let's leave. Uh. A shotgun wouldn't be bad, your urinal. You're, you're not wrong. I just remember the shotgun not being particularly effective on those guys. CD crash Atari owns the company that uh yeah night dive Atari owns night dive now so it's up to them them in here.
Yeah, oh shit. Uh, yeah, System Shock 2 is gonna get like a, uh, texture model upgrade, actually. Damn. And the shotgun does work on them good when they're still like that. Don't worry, we're fine. Emergency. User death imminent. Oh, the suit's just being melodramatic. He's got to find us a soda machine and we'll all be fine. So what if I die in one more hit? What's one more hit? Just don't get hit. That's the easy way around that. Ah! <laughs> that, was that, that was that new damage to me before. Oh, that was great. Well, historically, urinal, those things didn't hurt me. They changed the rule. I think he just flung it at me a little harder. Ah! Like I said, just don't get hit. It's that easy. Only have two health left. You have to you have to be nice to me. He thought his ID card would save him. That's cute. Now they'll just know who they shot, which is probably good intel. In. Oh, I was in. I've killed 12 dumbass scientists 
And not one of them fought back. Sucks. He's gonna hog all the help. I guess we're just not allowed in there. Fine. You know, Amb Ambassador Pineapple would have been a solution there, Morgan. You're not wrong. Oh, hell yeah. Wait a minute. Now we're good. Juice me up. Yum, yum, yum. I'm glad I didn't use the Oh, wait, I did. Oh, right. well, you can't win them all. That's what that six key is for. Hey, I'm out of ambassador pineapples too. It's a sad day. I can't go back there. Oh man. But I had so many more soldiers to shoot at. man all paths must be destroyed and annihilated well all things blocking paths i've been up for a little bit am i supposed to shoot the scientists i've shot every single one i think the game gives you bonus points for that i do believe i have a multiplier going That hidden ladder. We got more pineapples. How big is this work facility anyways? Well, I believe Black Mesa is in Arizona, right? So it's like this underground desert area facility. This could be any size. There's really no telling how large the facility actually is other than gigantic. 
big enough that they have a missile silo and an underground lab. I can take the cool way down. Because who would trust elevators here? They've all fallen down and exploded, every single one of them. No! Ah! I want it. Yeah. Oh, and a shotgun. Don't need that. I intend to ride the choo-choo, but... There could be so much more we could be missing. Yeah, see, that's bad news right there. We don't want to deal with that. Why wouldn't you just walk? Maybe there's a special item over here. You beat Tiny Toons Adventures on the Genesis and it was brutal. I can imagine. I think that was like one of those certified rental games, you know what I mean? Like they probably didn't expect a lot of people to buy it, but they expected it to fly out the rental shelves. Rentals used to be a thing. They should return with those. You kind of got that with the Xbox Game Pass. And was it like PlayStation Now or whatever? Imagine if Blockbuster Video did what, you know, Xbox Game Pass did and said like, look, you have your membership so you can just come by and pick up whatever game you want and hold on to it for, you know, a week or two. Instead of like, hey, you pay for your membership and it's eight dollars to rent a game. Even back, even today, that would be too much. Garg asked, what dumb game should I play now? Play uh, Battletoads and Double Dragon. That one was great. Oh, did we not get a choo-choo train on this one? Oh, yeah, here it is. on this thing just made it worse now there's monsters everywhere this is a peaceful place till the choo-choo came along Whee! oh the suit's being a crybaby Oh, yeah, there it is. Man, if you had a suit that gave you morphine, people would be jumping off stuff all the time.
I don't think I'm supposed to be playing in that stuff. Could just do this. That's a tactic, isn't it? Stairs. Now I'm using some more morphine. Come on, HEV suit. I know you got it. You're holding out on me. Yeah, Cameron, you should play this awesome remake. This is pretty good. It feels like it's a little bit shorter than the first one, but uh, not entirely bad. Maybe it gets longer towards the end. I don't know. Either way, it's fine, honestly. Oh, almost fell off. stretched out zen oh, okay there's batteries damn it no oh well we'll make do morgan we'll figure it out silo damn
No food for you. I fucked that up big time. lab yeah get that checked out goodbye Oh, sorry, the motion sickness is getting to you. Garg says Half Life was his childhood, and I can say they overindulged. So it's hard to get excited. That's true. If you know this inside now, you're just watching me do the. Like, listen to me uh, read you a storybook nursery rhymes. Fun to a point. I think that's water down there but you can probably land on the sides yeah there we go there's a ladder
Lander was always an option. Remember this segment? Maximum pineapple. All right, well, we're, that's good. I like having pineapples. There we go. Enjoy that. I better get to a ladder. Oh, no, I'm fucked. That's a bad idea. I like that there's a bunch of other vents I could have gone to. Oh, you're playing Echo on Dreamcast? That's funny, Garg. I was just checking out some Dreamcast games. Got Vigilante 8 Second Offense running. So we're going to be pulling that out sometime soon.
I'll be honest, I didn't even see where we would have put this, but we have it now. Oh, that's easy. That traffic cone. It makes this game is great. I'm loving it. That's booted up on a whim, but yeah. I've done a good job here. I remember this was halfway in development. And I was like, nah, I'll wait till it's finished. And now there's a definitive edition. So I think I was right to wait.
down we go tried it out in 2014 long before it was finished i remember this is my first introduction to that dark side phil guy he couldn't do the crouch jump it was the funniest fucking thing because i totally get like why you wouldn't understand the crouch jump if you don't know half-life right the, ooh, the tutorial that teaches it to you is kind of disconnected from things i don't think it was present here but you think you would have figured it out in time or at least somebody says they play a lot of video games you think you know about the crouch jump at least i think they actually changed the game to like facilitate that it's like oh, okay maybe not so many crouch jumps i'm like ah no more crouch jumps No. Tired of breaking my femurs. Ah! Not ready. ready to go baby shit that was all my shotgun ammo well not all of it but enough of it to make me upset some you lose some it said don't obstruct what i do i obstructed i do miss games having giant kill doors It says right there, don't obstruct. just as the facility is rather large
think is this day? Thank you, Liz. Yeah, Joe, this the soundtrack's great. I really love what they did with it. Oh, man, honestly, not a bad stopping point. I did a three hour and 30 minute stream earlier today. Raised like a thousand bucks, a little over a thousand for the ASPCA. I'm proud of that. I'm glad to help out with Trey and all them. They did great. I'd like to do some charity here at some point, but I really can't muster it together quite yet. It's a simple channel. I gotta pick a charity that I know deep down on the inside. But ASPCA is a good one. Anyways. That's about three hours. Let's wrap things up. Hope you're all having a good evening, by the way. According to the poll, the 118 votes, the best way to play Half-Life is Black Mesa with 42%. I wonder if there's a bias there. Vanilla at 27, Source at 18, and Ray Tracing at 11. Wow, nobody likes some Ray Tracing. <laughs> they hate him. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a good, uh, this is a good break point, though. At least in uh, my experience, you stop after the three-headed monster mash. Then you got this. Then you get to the service tension, and then after that is Zen. Or some such nonsense. But that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to try to come back tomorrow with a little bit of. Yeah, Source should be the lowest, Justice. It's weird that. Uh, Ray Tracing got a bad. Got, got a bad rep, but I can't blame it. I mean. Every time people turn on ray tracing on their computer, it just slows their game down and they can't even tell the difference visually because, well, it's just color at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do, like, bash people's skulls and go, understand the nuance of ray tracing, you some bitch? Nah, you got to be realistic about it, I understand. Well, all right. Ah, sleepy dog zone. I got a 4090 and some of these ray tracing games aren't very impressive. They like they don't use the tech very well but The ones that do use it well look great Anyhow, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. I'm gonna think uh, maybe some twisted metal 2 tomorrow. Maybe Hard to say I just wanted to mix it up a bit nice thing about half-life is uh, it's an FPS game and it's like riding a bicycle. You never forgot how to play. Twisted Metal 2, I might want to do a few practice runs on. Well, not runs, but just a few rounds. Get my, uh, you know, my freeze combo, shield combo, mine combo, reverse fire combo. All that's, that's stuff you need to know. And I can't say off the top of my head I remember anything more than the freeze one, which is left, right, forward. Right, left, forward. One or the other. It's like right, left, down for shield, something like that. It's easy enough to remember, but a refresher course wouldn't hurt, right? 
Hey, Cobalt, you have a good night, Molten Amber, Sleepy Dog Zone, Justice, Sugar Bits. Thank you for the sponsorship. I appreciate you. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. And thank you for becoming a new member of Music Archive. I appreciate you very much. Y'all have a terrific night. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.